Hello everyone, welcome to In 5 Minutes. In this video, we are going to see the next problem on type 2b. So this is our question. So if you see here, we are given the limits of the integration and this integration is first is with respect to y and then it is with respect to x. So first it is integration of y. So y is going from minus infinity to infinity. So in the coordinate plane, minus infinity will be somewhere in infinity and plus infinity will be at somewhere at the infinity. So y is going from this point till infinity and x is also going from minus infinity to infinity. This means that this integration will cover entire xy plane. Okay, so this integration is performed on entire xy plane. So we can perform this type of integration also. But now if you see here, first we have to integrate with respect to y. So x will remain constant. So this term is constant. But this equation is of the form 1 upon a square plus y square, the whole square where a is constant. In this case, a is 1 plus x square. So now if you see here, this is a very complex integration because if we do not have this square term, then this is a very simple integration. This integration will be simply tan inverse of y by a. But here if we have the square, so this square makes this integration very difficult. So what do we should do? We have one alternate. Okay, what is this alternate? We can convert this xy coordinate into polar coordinates. Okay, so there is one more hint when to convert x Cartesian plane to polar coordinates. Whenever we have x square plus y square term in our question, just see that whether that equation is easily solvable or not. If it is not easy to solve, please convert it to polar coordinates. Now, if you see the previous problems we have solved in every problem, there is x square plus y square term. Okay, so now we will put x equal to r cos theta and we will put y equal to r sin theta, then dx dy will be r dr d theta, then x square plus y square will be r square. Okay, so this is our substitution or conversion in polar coordinates. Here we have y is minus infinity to infinity. So we have to cover this entire plane. So in polar coordinates, we will consider a radial distance. We consider one strip from origin where r is equal to zero. So this will also be going till infinity. So our one limit r is going from zero to infinity, but we have to cover the entire plane. So we will rotate this strip from this point again till this point. So in this way, this will cover entire xy plane. So what is theta here? Theta is zero. Here theta is pi by two. And again, when we make one rotation here, theta is two pi. So the limits of our integrations are theta is going from zero to two pi because we have to cover entire x plane and r is going from zero to infinity. So r is going from zero to infinity and we will rotate this strip from theta equal to zero till theta equal to two pi so that our entire x y plane is covered into dx into dy. What is dx into dy? It is nothing but r dr d theta upon one plus x square plus y square. What is x square plus y square? It is nothing but r square, the whole square 